Let's create a new Flash file. And we'll use ActionScript 2.0. And the first thing we're going to do is set up our document. We'll set the width to 320 and the height to 240 and the frame rate to 15 frames per second. We'll just create a text message using the text tool. Now to align the text box, we can press Command-K to open up the Align panel, and then we can click the uh, Center Vertical and Center Horizontal, and make sure Two Stage is clicked as well. And so that centers the box. It didn't center the type in the box. We'll do that in a few minutes. Now let's go import a background image, and that's going to be placed in the library. You can see it's in the library there. You can rename your layers in Flash, so we're going to rename layer one to text. And we can resize the timeline a bit so it's a little larger. And we'll add another layer to accommodate our background image. Just make sure you put that one beneath the text layer. Now we're going to drag an instance of the image onto the stage. We use the transform tool to resize the image on the stage. Now we're going to center the type within the text box. And we can do this using the paragraph properties. And there it's centered. We can also change the color. And also change the typeface. There we go. Now we're going to insert a frame at frame 20 in the text layer. Make sure it's a frame. See, we need some time to work with. We're going to create an animation. In the TIFF background, we need to set a keyframe because we're actually going to make a, a change. And in the first frame of the TIFF background, we want to select a classic tween. And then we can select frame 20 in the uh, TIFF background. And we're going to just make an adjustment to the size of the graphic so we get a, a, a zooming in effect. So we'll use the transform tool again and just play with the sizing. So what we're doing is just changing something on the first frame and something on the 20th frame. Just remember, an animation requires at least two keyframes. And so that's what we're doing, just making some changes. So we click on the frame, make our change. And 
we can use the playhead there to scrub through and see how it looks. Or we can also control and test the movie, which renders out a SWIF, and we can see that. Now notice it's looping. We're going to add a line of action script to stop the looping. The script is called Stop. Uh, we can name the layer anything. Sometimes I name it uh, the script if it's a short script. We insert a keyframe because that is a change. If I inserted a frame, it would stop right at the beginning, so I needed a keyframe there. So stop, bracket, bracket, semicolon. That's what we're adding there. And I can just format it and check to see if the script contains errors. No errors, that's a good sign. And then we can try this out. Great, so that works, plays it once. Now we have to create a button to hyperlink to our menu page as this is gonna go on our website. So we create a new symbol and this symbol is a button. And now we're inside a button editor and all we really need is a big a box, an area, a shape area to place on top of our stage. And we're going to make it a hit area because we don't want to see the orange box there. We just want an area. And uh, you'll see what happens in a minute. To get back to the main timeline, we click Scene 1. And we're just going to create a layer to put the button in. And from the library, you can see our button ended up in the library. So I'm just going to drag the button on top of the stage. I'm just going to resize it too so it covers the whole stage. I don't want somebody accidentally clicking on the side of the stage and having it not work. So cover the whole stage, the whole area. Now click on the button and then we're going to open the action panel and assign some action script to the button that we've just clicked. We click it to select it. And the command is get URL. That's the important part of the script. If it turns blue in the action panel, you know it's a, a key phrase, a key word in action script. And there we go. So that's some fancy script for you. We format it, check to see if there are errors, no errors. And we're linking to the menu.html. So that's it. That should, uh, that should do it. We'll save the file. And all we have left to do after this is publish it and test it in a browser. Now this could turn out to be our index file on our website, but we'll just name it something else for now. Now we have to publish our file. We make sure we get a Swift file. In this case, I also am going to publish an HTML just so I can test it in a browser. So we click the publish button. Don't just yeah, don't just click the OK button. You want to publish it first, then OK. We'll quick flash and we end up with three files: our FLA, our Swift, and our HTML. And if we drag the HTML to a browser, uh, we get our animation. And that's it.